NXT 2.0, everybody. The last one. We're done. It opened up with Pretty Deadly against the Creed Brothers in a cage match for the titles, as allegedly voted on by the fans. That's what they claimed. And uh, it was a it was a Creed Brothers match, dude. I'm waiting for someone to kill somebody. But Pretty Deadly are a great team, and they did a good job getting him through this match. And at the end of the match, uh, out comes Damon Kemp, and he tries to climb into the cage, but he is stopped. And as him and Julius are brawling at the top, Julius finally knocks him off the cage to the outside. But then Julius looks down, and he's been handcuffed to the cage. So it's two-on-one, pretty deadly double-team Brutus. He actually does a great one-on-two battle, gets a couple near falls, but finally they hit him with spilt milk twice and, uh, and beat him. So ended up being a fun match, albeit a little scary. They announced the uh, voting for the North American Championship tonight. And, uh, you know, we talked about who's it going to be. Well, the answer is it didn't matter. The fans did vote for uh, Wes Lee. But in the end, it wouldn't have mattered who it was because he ended up getting beaten up by Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. And this led to a mystery person taking his place in the main event. You know, as much as I'm glad that the old NXT or something resembling the old NXT is replacing this goofy, colorful NXT 2.0, and there was some stupid stuff, especially early on, I'm a sucker for video packages. And they had a music video of the last year of <laughs> NXT 2.0. You think it was the greatest promotion Dude, in the world. Oh. I li- this music video was fun. I'm not going to lie. I liked it. And uh, not everything was great, but they made it seem like, man, what a year. And you know, I can say, man, what a year in a lot of different ways. The ups and the downs. Fallon Henley and Lash Legend. Thankfully, it was very short. Henley, Shining Wizard, Pinder clean in the middle. And then they celebrated with the Night Howler because it is uh, Childhood Pediatric Cancer Month. And uh, this young fella here, was uh, Mason Ramirez, a childhood cancer survivor. So we got to come out and watch this match. This is when we had Ulyssa Leone coming out of the deal and talking about how it was torn. And she'll be out of action nine months. And they're like, oh, what will we do? And Sanga says, oh, it is time for you to step up. So Valentina Faraz is going to be getting a singles push. Oh, and then no. Mr. Stone and Von Wagner come up talking trash. And Sanga shuts this bloke down so it looks like we're heading to a a battle between these two we had uh toxic attraction coming to the ring for a promo and uh you know this show's a lot better but not everything not everything has gotten better and of no. all people alba fire Comes down to the ring with her bat. And I didn't write it down, but she said the single most preposterous line that I've heard in so long was something like, uh, it ended up like, I come from a long line of fire walkers. And the crowd laughed. She's supposed to be the serious baby face. And this line was so stupid. No earthling would ever say, what Elbow Fire said here in this promo. <laughs> it's Elba. God. Elba Fire. It'd be Not less Elba. preposterous if she was named Elbow Fire than whatever it was that she said here in this deal. And then she <laughs> beats them all up and they fled. Fire God. Keepers, I'm sorry. Not Fire Walkers. A long line of I Fire Keepers. comes come from a long line of Fire Keepers. <laughs> I can get you home, but you got to do exactly as I tell you're, you. You're telling me that where you come from. Scotland. Not me, her. Where where you come from, they've barely harnessed fire. Dunfermline. And, and that literally there has to be a, a keeper of the flame that then passes the flame whenever someone needs to... That's what you're saying, t- 2022? Well, maybe it's a... Well, I mean, if you think about it, Brian, that's the Olympics every four years. Help I mean, it's me. It's passing of the torch. Maybe that's a... It's an honorable thing, an honorable trait for a family member to be able to pass on knowledge and wisdom and the power. God. Somebody, can someone go and translate that while I'm doing this show right here? Tell me the whole, I want the whole line. 
that she uh, spouted out there <laughs> that people chuckled at because it was uh, – it's ridiculous. I'm going to need you to read that, but you're going to need to do it in that Dominic Mysterio light. Surprise, Jared hasn't figured out how to do that yet. We'll go get that later on. We had a Cora Jade video package, which it's developmental. God bless her. But it's just, it's the goofy cheap. The goofy <laughs> and I need cheap Vinny to read this one. <laughs> making fun of the fans with a pause in between every word. You're all virgins and dorks. I'm cool. Yeah. With a Wendy Chu promo, which was worse in a different way. <laughs> and then we had old Quincy Elliott debuted. Awesome. Quincy Elliott versus Sean. G <laughs> I was excited for this Quincy Elliott from day one. And you're the guy like, oh, I don't know about this Quincy Elliott. I don't I know about this guy. I didn't say that at all. Yeah, I you never did. said that. No. God. <laughs> he came out here and did a squash match. It was like. Uh, Superstars. Yeah, it was awesome. What this, what this man has is charisma. Yes. Yes. That is okay. Cameron it's Grimes promising. promo. He's supposed to get a mystery partner for tonight, but he says, I don't need no partner. So he's going to do this handicap match on his own. We have uh, Cameron Grimes and Joe Gacy. Oh, I, I, I spoiled it. <laughs> Tony D'Angelo and Stax against Cameron Grimes and a mystery partner. So, of course, Cameron's getting beaten up, and out comes Joe Gacy on the apron. And uh, I'm a fair man, guys. I've told you this a million times. I hate this Joe Gacy character. I hate 95% of the stuff this guy does, like the story, his character, everything. But he can work. Yes, okay? he can. And in this match here, he comes down, and he gets on the apron, and he's begging for a tag. And, and Cameron Grimes doesn't want to tag him. So they keep beating on Cameron. And then they do the spot where Cameron flips over or whatever, and he stumbles back to the corner, and Joe Gacy, boom, makes the blind tag. Dude, this Joe Gacy made the best babyface comeback you ever saw. Oh, my God. Dude, he's on fire. And he's running, and he's blah, 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 blah. And the, the crowd's going haywire for this babyface comeback. And he does the whole deal. They do the big shebang. He does a springboard, kills this dude with the lariat, makes the cover there. One, two, they're going crazy. And then the match is over, and he looks over at Cameron Grimes like, bro, I could help you here, but Cameron Grimes doesn't want any help. So they absolutely kill the guy. They beat him up. They lay him out, beat him down. He's dead. So uh, he's not joining the uh, schism or the dyad. Quite frankly, if they had a better name, he'd probably join. But, I mean, you, you can't go tell your friends, I'm part of the schism. CZ what Dub. What a comeback. CZ Dub. God, what a comeback this guy made. It was unbelievable. J.D. McDonough does some goofy stuff. He gets, he's like, hire some guy. We were just talking, it was uncanny. We were just talking on the Brian and Vinny show about uh, the art of shaving. It's apparently a place at uh, Bellevue Square around here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Craig and Vinny are raving about the art of shaving and everything like that. And I, I, uh, I noted, it was just a couple days ago. It was like Sunday. I said, dude, I would never have someone shave my neck with a blade. Because they make one mistake and you're dead. Well, here's old J.D. McDonough. He's in the chair at Art of Shaving, and this geek, this paid guy, slices his neck open shaving. JD's like, get out of here. Uh, Humbert, or whatever the guy's name is. And then he like looks at his blood. He's like, ah. Like, got anything else? I guess you shouldn't watch the uh, El Desperado June Gasai match. Uh, you wouldn't like that one. Then we have uh, Zoe and Nikita. Against Kiana James and Ariana Grace. Oh, Have I told you guys? Oh, Jesus. Lord. Okay, listen. Uh, Nikita's not ready for TV. No. Zoe's great. Yes. Ariana's probably not ready for TV yet. No. But let me tell you about Kiana. Uh. Love her. Okay? I love her. Listen to me. Listen. Okay? Fiat bien. The, the issue with a lot of green wrestlers is that it's all about the moves to them and they have no music between the notes it's like i try this move then i try this move i look like i'm thinking i try this move i try this move i robotically we see it all the time on this show okay but kiana james dude is like the the anti she's she's green but she's like the anti green wrestler she only has the music between the notes. <laughs> Bro, 
I'm telling you, I swear to God. Remember how I've been ranting for days about black and white? Yes. She should have been a VOD villain. <laughs> they should, they should like put the makeup on like a silent film. Her music should be ragtime. She's the greatest silent movie wrestler I've ever seen. She's nothing but between the notes. She goes like this. She grabs someone like this. She does this in between everything. And, like, you know, her work is, you know, she's got a ways to go with she's her work. She's Baron Mikel Scaluna. She's a wrestler uh, you know from what? the 50s where it's like, ah, no, 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 no. I would watch a thousand of her matches between these other ones that are just, here's some goofy move I can't do. Now I'm going to do this other goofy move I can't do. She's a character. And she plays to the cheap seats on Mars. Uh-huh. Love her. So anyway, <laughs> they got beat. That was sad. Remember Saturday Morning But at Slam? least she didn't get beat. She would have been perfect for that show. We had a Malik Blade, Edris Anofe, brawl backstage. When, of course, you know, uh, Edris had hey, no they got a on. feud. They have a feud with the Dyad. I mean, for that's, that's something for them because at least they're going to be on TV now in a regular deal. Wesley's being attended to. We had a Grayson Waller interview. He wants a thing next. Hank Walker and Javier Bernal. I'm going to need hours on the Vinny show to talk about this. He is but Vinny. The, the reality is, like, you need all sorts of characters in this business. And, uh, and Hank Walker here, I just watched him and in, like, three seconds. Like, it's your new big boss man. Yes. The, that's exactly what I thought, that's too. That's exactly yes. what it is. Like, <laughs> he's a security guard who looks like – actually, I can't say he looks like a security guard because I've seen the AEW security guards. But he looks like your mall security guard. He doesn't have a body. He looks like he doesn't train, but he he's in shape. Like, he can do a match. Yes. The fans love this guy. Offensive lineman kind they of thing. They love this guy. And he pinned Javier, and they're so into him, and they're going crazy. They're, Hank, Hank, Hank. And I'm like, dude, you got something with this guy. You got a new big boss man. And no, he's not as good as the big boss man ended no. up. But when the big boss man first debuted as – um. Uh, Ray Trailer. Ray he's Trailer. Not, look, he's not even that good, but no, he's. I think he's better than the, the when Ray Trailer. The first matches I ever saw with Ray Trailer, he's better than that. But you know, Ray Trailer got really good really fast. I don't think Javier's getting that good, or uh, Hank's getting that good that fast. He ain't taking that slingshot suplex from Tully. But they got something with this guy. And then uh, the main event was uh, Solo Sokoa ended up facing Carmelo Hayes, and that was even cool. though Solo is a heel on uh, SmackDown. Man, he walked in this building and he was Roman Reigns' babyface in his prime. They went nuts for this guy, and they had a good match. And uh, and Trick Williams tried to interfere and was thwarted. Solo hits the Uranage, goes up top. He hits that big splash. Ba bam! Makes the cover. One, two, three. Pins him. Place lost their minds. Solo Co is the new North American champion. This was a good show. This was a good show. And thank God they're getting rid of the colors. And we can start over again next week. We'll get Mike's final thoughts after this break. Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper, VV, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Sometimes I'm flabbergasted at how talented I am. Oh, yeah? God. Three calls. Three people called me during that NXT review. Mm -hmm. All leaving voicemails. They got transcribed on my screen as I'm trying to read these notes. All about something completely different. None in emergency. Mm. But I powered Assisted. through. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Any final thoughts on NXT? No, not really. Look, it, it, I thought the video packages were great. I thought if you were going to do a bait and switch like that, a false advertising, what were you going to offer at the end that would make people happy? And Solo Sokoa coming down, that was awesome. And now you have a tie-in with him being able to go back down there and get a huge reaction anytime you want him to. Maybe somebody comes up on SmackDown or Raw and tries to take that North American title off of him. Somebody, I'm not saying to Grayson Waller, but, you know, Carmelo comes up. Imagine having that match as a showcase on SmackDown or Raw with somebody trying to get the title off of him. So I don't know what they're going to do with it, but I thought it was a very creative way to finish off the show, and I thought it was a the best way possible to end NXT 2.0, considering the way it started. All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? 
or is it both? A wrestling move where you <laughs> grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built connected is a duplex. Yeah, it's never been duplex, Granny, but you've you've said this now for 15 okay, years, so we just I, yeah, let, yeah. It, let it go. Yeah. So I thought once and for all, I want to know which it is. So it's duplex and not suplex. Right? No, a it's, suplex it's is suplex a suplex and not duplex. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> duplex is a housing development, Granny. Ulysses S. Grant's battle we, scars. We, we definitely read these. Skip forward no, a few pages. No, no, okay, no. Okay, all right, all right, go ahead. We didn't do this one. Okay. Yeah, this person says we did. This person says I, we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. <laughs> I protest. <laughs> he wrote the same one twice. Yeah. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I, I'm telling you, I wasn't back this time. Okay, far. fine. Read another one. Yeah, Everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. <laughs> Who cares, but everybody? All, but all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? <laughs> I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in. And then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? I object. I object! Objection, Your Honor! Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny, you did! <laughs> All right, anything else, Granny? You're guilty. <laughs> well... <laughs> Go to go to jail. You're guilty was the high spot of the week. Oh, you I'll... shut me off. No, oh, you're right here. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. There was some weird rumbling going on, like uh -oh. she, she's unplugging your own cord there. I think you unplugged I the I cord. Can't hear you. You, you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I I'll message you. I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.